सुना We are going to house and house and preaching the gospel of God. Manche aru derey maina ma ek parivar, dui par parivar ay rakhe kosa. And new believers are also coming in months like one and two families are coming. Ah, prabhu lai dhanne baat bhai kos. We thank God for everything. Ra pray for Bhutan. And I request you all to pray for Bhutan. थैंक यू सपोर्ट कर मैडम धन्यवाद 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. With your permission, Dr. People Kelofo. of God, okay. With your permission, okay. Thank you for the wonderful testimony of a uh, Shamwal Kakari. Thank you for your vision to build a church in the border place. But uh, I have a correction of your vision and mission. <laughs> you, you don't wait for the people come to your church, because God commissioned you go inside the Bhutan. Yes. Okay. Church building is good, but don't yeah. wait time. The people yeah. are coming into your church, but you are an apostle. You are anointing us. You you have to go. You are the goi people. You need to go. Okay, inside and the different part of Nepal and yes. Allah Bhutan and preach the gospel of God. Now, 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 now Hallelujah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I want to comment. Amen. Here. We are now live, ladies and gentlemen, and all the primary leaders. I want to congratulate you. We are live now on Facebook. If you go to Facebook on Shalewa Kali and also on like. Praise so, the Lord. Some technical time. Hallelujah. But if you go also, if you get your other devices and go on uh, Facebook, we are live on Facebook now. Praise the Lord! Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 On Facebook for the people around the world, we're going to be reaching the world like this for the glory of Jesus Christ. What I'm going to do now, Shalay, when we're on and we're live and we're live here, I'm going to go straight into the Word in a few minutes. But the listening audience that are listening and watching, I'm going to uh, allow some of you. I know you've been on here long already, but I'm going to ask you kindly to. Say something in your native language as I call you. When I call your name, you're gonna go and say something in your native language so that we can see and hear from you. Is that all right? Yes. And right. then I'm gonna go ahead and minister the word of the Lord and with you and for you today. Are you with me? Shout hallelujah! हालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहालेलुयाहाल
Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? And for one minute only, you're going to uh, you're going to say something about one minute. Uh, two minutes. Two minutes. You're going to preach about the glory of God uh, from your nation. Say it in the native language. And, uh, Love you. Just get moving with this right now. And you Apostle Jacob, begin speak to the world about the kingdom of God and the glory of God around the nation and the rest of you get ready because I'm going to let you say something about the, either the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Speak to the world, Apostle Jacob. Pardon, one second. Pardon, I don't hear, uh, listen. Okay. Please, could you please, one second. Pardon. I want you, Apostle Jacob, to go ahead and begin to preach for two minutes to the world about the glorious name of Jesus and his kingdom. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. Okay. I like to talk in my language and praise God. My mother tongue is Malayalam. Yeshu and Namathele. Because I would have suicide and Logan Rajing like a Pogo and Yangle Pratiku Kayana. They were normally Anikar Hikita. This is my mother tongue, it's called a Malayalam. Okay, from I am the South Indians. <laughs> Hallelujah. The God is good and nice. The God, uh, okay. And the God is enabling us to take the gospel of kingdom to the different places in the different language because I'm learning the different language of different states and preach and teach the people who are living over there. Okay. Because I have a kingdom assignment. I have a, that is what I joined to the Kami ministry. God is a kingdom assignment. I need to fulfill the kingdom assignment. God is, uh, okay, hand over on me. Okay, Apostle uh, Paul assisted me to fulfill. Okay, uh, by the assignment that God has given to us. I, uh, I'm really, the last four years, I'm really enjoying the work with uh, Dr. Kelofo and his, his wife and his uh, uh, Kambi board. They are, they are nice people. They are missionary people. They are loving people. They are caring people. They are supporting people. Okay, okay, and they, 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 they consider us a, a, a family member we, and they allow. You know that in, in Kingdom, in Kami, I like a lot of freedom is there. We work in a lot of freedom. A lot of freedom. We can work because uh, Kami, Kami honor your vision. Kami honor your personality. The Kami understand your needs. Uh, okay. okay. Kami, Kami honor and Kami don't put any assignment to you, but Kami stand behind it. And, and help you to go forward. Amen. Kami stand behind it and encourage you to continue your mission and mission. The Kami is with you to, to, to carry on your own missions. So, okay, we are we are standing behind you, assisted. Many think about nowadays, so what is Kami doing? Okay, Kami is standing behind you. Kami is standing with you. Kami is encouraging you. Kami strengthened you by word and spirit. Again, okay. and you need to you need to continue the ministry because you are the God's vessel. You are the God vessel. You are the chosen vessel of God. You are the apostle of God. Okay, God wants you to carry on because God is working through you. Because God does not use any human strategies. God never use any human technology. But God use you. You are the God vessel. Amen. God's strategy is you. Hallelujah. You are the special vessel of God. The God is working you and I. So we are having much a commitment and do. I'm, I'm so much happy. And, and privileged to work with uh, this Akami uh, international team. All are nice people. It's a wonderful time. The God is special grace. He's to bring us together for his purpose, the time of this. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I thanks. I thanks. Okay. Thank you for that time given to me. Thank Hallelujah. You. Come on, give the Lord a round of applause today. Come on. Come on, let's do <laughs> Amen, 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 amen. You put your cameras on. We are live on Facebook now. We are live, and I'm going to let you come on. So put all of you, put your videos on. Put your cameras on, and let the world hear what we're saying and what we're doing. Should I just double check that camera? We're rolling. Okay. Praise the Lord. I want to call on Apostle Andrew Ataka to speak to the nations concerning the kingdom of God. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my leaders. Uh, thank you very much, wherever you are. 
Uh, I really appreciate and I thank God for this time that I've been given. I do not take this for granted. Apostle Dr. Kela Fokoli, our president in Kingdom Apostolic Ministries International, and Mama Shalawa Koli, thank you very much for such a very wonderful leadership that you are demonstrating to us. I'd like to say something very, very important. I think in this case, according to Matthew 23, uh, uh, the Bible says, but first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all shall be added unto you. Amen. Uh, I'll speak about this just a minute or two, uh, because uh, this is the most key area whereby as leaders we've got to emphasize so much. Uh, some of the times as leaders, we have asked people to look at as a solution, but the Bible says, first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all shall be added unto you. Uh, there are some things where I sit uh, some of the things to myself, and uh, most of the people are looking for things to themselves. I'm telling you, as I'm talking right now, the whole world is shut down, and the economy of the world is now... Uh, uh, at stake. There is a very big problem economically. But the Bible says the only solution is to seek first the kingdom of God and all what we are looking for will be added unto us. So it's not a matter of seeking Amen. for miracles, going anywhere looking for miracles. The Bible says if someone is looking for something else, we've got to let him know that he should first seek the kingdom of God, then all shall be added unto him or her. So I just wanted to to say something very important here because at Kami, Kingdom Apostolic Ministries in Ash, being an apostolic ministry, uh, we've got a very big mandate to see to it that everyone within the fellowship, everyone within the church is able to go. And uh, the fact that we are preaching growth, we are preaching maturity, because that's our, go our, our goal, that's our mandate, to see to it that there is maturity within the body of Christ across the global. People are able to grow. We've got to grow into to become mature sons. That's the most important thing. And for on that level, the Bible says we've got to first seek the kingdom of God. Then everything that we are looking for will be added unto you and to us. One day Peter asked Jesus a very simple question. Lord, to us who left everything and followed you. What should be our benefit? And Jesus honestly answered Peter and said, Peter, this is, this is how things will be like. First of all, that whatever you lost, we added unto you hundredfold, but thereafter the kingdom of God. So the only thing that we've got to do is whenever we leave everything uh, we, 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 because of God, God says everything that we lost because of him will be added unto us hundredfold and thereafter the kingdom of God. And this is what, we, uh, this is what we've got to do. We've got to introduce everyone of, of us, all our members, we've got to introduce them to Christ. And the Bible says once we introduce them to Christ, uh, when they see Christ first, everything we added to them. This is the mandate of the Kingdom Apostolic Ministries, trying to make sure that everyone is able to grow, everyone is mature yeah. enough to stand firmly before Christ, by him or herself, and at the end of the day, uh, people should be able to, to, to pray to God by themselves, and they will be able to answer. We should not invite, and we should not introduce ourselves before them as the solution. Let's introduce Christ to them, because Christ is the solution. And the moment Christ is fully introduced before each one of us, I'm telling you, everything will be possible in Jesus' name. I just want to thank God once again for this time, for giving me this time. I uh, do not take this for granted. I do appreciate Apostle Dr. Coley. You are a blessing to us. You are a wonderful leader. God bless you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So let's get into Amen. the Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we're going to just jump Praise right the Lord. into this. We have been here for quite some time, and I want to again uh, uh, 
Okay. Praise the name of Jesus. So to God be the glory. Thank you for the leaders here and around the world who have been watching you. I want to jump straight into the word now. Put all your mics on mute if you can. And we're going to jump straight into this word this time. And uh, we're going to see how to be a blessing to you. Get your Bibles. Turn it to me, your Bibles. Uh, uh, and I want to say greetings to you in the name of Jesus. Shalewa is here in the background. I will let her bring her but we want to jump straight into this word this morning to be a blessing to you and to all of the people. I love how you all stayed, and the rest of you, I will be bringing you on in a few minutes. But of course, I want to highlight you into the Bibles and get ready to turn those Bibles. As you know, we've been Of the way you see the Lord, the way you operate in God, 
and the way you move in his truth. Change the mindset. Change the behavior. Change those internal systems. I was going to add today, change the internal system. It means all of us, you are, you are from all around the nation. We've been taught to think, oh, I'm black. I have to think like a black person. Oh, I'm from India. I must think like Indian. I'm from Pakistan. I'm from Nepal. I'm from Bhutan. I'm from South Africa. We think this way. We operate this way. We feel this way. No, 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 no. We have been called to change the way we think. Some of us have been trained. To, to minister to the people of God in a certain way. I want to challenge you and I that he has come and, and the world has changed. We must do things differently. We must look at ourselves to prevent me. I must look in my thinking. Now, what is that thinking? Maybe my thinking restricted me. Maybe my culture. cultures around the world where people, praise God, uh, don't believe in giving. There's some cultures around the world that were based on religious ideologies and philosophy or religion. I want to let you know John the Baptist was not preaching to sinners, he was preaching to religious people of the time. Amen. John was preaching to Pharisees and Pharisees, people who were in religious was keeping them out of walking in the light of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. It was going to prevent them, their systems, their laws, the way they pray. Let me give you an example. Uh, Jesus, when he began to teach the kingdom, he said, you have been told to pray in public, but I say unto you, when you pray, go into your closet and pray in secret, so that when you pray in secret, your father in heaven will bless you openly. Can you imagine the religious people at that time prayed in the public? They wanted to be worshipped by men of Jesus, not sin. They weren't smoking. They weren't drinking alcohol. They weren't fornicating as we know it. But they were in a religious mindset. They put burdens on the people that they didn't live because they uh, uh, were uh, 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 they were defying the laws of God the way it should have been taught. This is why when Jesus came, he came with the ministry of the Spirit. The Spirit, along with the law, hallelujah, showed man how to live the law and the Spirit. I'm not saying we're in the New Testament, we are to do away with the law. No, we are to keep the laws of God. Do you know that this Bible has over 632 laws that relate to family, that relate to marriage, that re relate to government, that relate to health, that relate to economics, that relate to everything. I want to let us know we need to change our whole system of thinking, the way our country taught us. I, I want to tell you something, people of God. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Once you take on this kingdom message, you will prosper in any country you're living in. Praise God. Can I get an amen? If you take on the laws of this kingdom, amen. you will prosper in any country. It doesn't matter your race, it doesn't matter your nationality, it doesn't matter where you were born, it doesn't matter who your parents were, it doesn't matter if there's a crisis of corona. If we abide by the laws of the kingdom, now what is that law? Seek the birth of the kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all other things shall be added. I want to let you know, since this corona hit, fighting by the kingdom of God, I have no needs that have to be taken care of. Praise God. My God is taking care of my needs. He will take care of you. Praise God. I want to let you know, since this corona hit, I preach the gospel more than I've ever preached. Because why? I'm seeking the kingdom. Hallelujah. I'm abiding by these kingdom laws. John came and said, repent. What's going to happen now? Why do we have to repent? Because the world is living in fear. I'm telling you, the world is living in fear. I'm telling you, the world is the world is getting worried. The world is trying to figure out economic plans, stimulus packages, to stimulate the economy. But God's law is as long as the and harvest. Praise God. It means 
you must begin to give more than ever. In the time of famine, Jacob sold, Isaac sold, and they got a multiple type of blessing. Praise God. What is the world going to tell you? The world is going to tell you, don't sow, do not give. Hallelujah, be afraid. No, but the kingdom of God says, Give, and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, and overflowing shall men give to your bosom. Praise God. I want to let you know the laws that govern the kingdom that we live in. We live in a different system. Say hallelujah. We live under a different government. Hallelujah. We live under a different government. Let me show you that. Praise God. From here is to God. Speaking in those days, telling them, verse 2 of Matthew chapter 3, verse 2, repent from the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I want to let you know I had to do a lot of repenting. It wasn't because of sin. It was just the fact that I had to change my mind. What we do today is to change the mind. What do you mean by that? Right now, we're using technology to reach the world. Right now, we're using Zoom to reach the world for Jesus Christ. Right now, we're using uh, all the online platforms, Facebook. Look at this technology. Never before did we use this technology to reach the gospel, and you can too. Use Zoom. Use WhatsApp. Use Facebook Live. Use YouTube. Use whatever platform you have because the way of reaching the gospel, we have to be creative and innovative because there's a world who is hungry for the Lord and is hungry for transformation. Praise God. Repent. Second thing I needed to repent of is changing my cultural identity. I want to let you know you say something powerful right now. We're not African. You're not a Middle Easterner. You are a kingdom ambassador. You are a part of a glorious kingdom. Jesus is that king. You are not poor. You are not broken. You're not black. You're not white. You're not Indian. You are not mixed. You are a child of the king. You are a son of God. And with a uh. seed of son of God, it doesn't matter which nation you're from. There is a favor. There is a blessing. There is an open access to all of the resources of earth and heaven available to you. Come on, give the Lord a high clap of praise. Amen. 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 I want you to get excited about that. Hallelujah. I have to repent. Hallelujah. In the time Amen. of this crisis, again, the Lord has told me, I am your source. I am your reward. I am going to provide for you. How about I provided for you in the past? I'm going to provide for you again. Haven't I made a way for you in the past? I'm going to make a way for you again. Haven't I sustained you and your family? He said, I'm going to tell my people, I'm going to sustain them. Praise God. I want to let you know, he is opening new doors of opportunity. I have to change my cultural identity. What does that mean? In this hour, some of you, Kami, Kingdom Apostolic Ministry leaders and I, we're going to speak to Germany. We're going to speak to people in Spain. We're going to speak to people in Italy. We're going to speak to people in Mexico. We're going to speak to people in Brazil and Venezuela. We're going to speak to people of every race, color, nationality in New York City. We're going to take the gospel to London, England. We're going to speak to people of all tribes and native languages. In amen, the amen. We're going to speak to every a state in India. We're going to speak to all of the islands of the Pacific. We're going to speak to Japan. We're going to speak to Korea. We're going to speak to every nation on the earth, New Zealand. Because why? We don't have a cultural identity problem. Our culture is the culture of Jesus Christ. And that culture is he is Lord over every person. The Bible said the earth is the Lord. So that means if the earth belongs to the Lord, it belongs to you and I. Praise God. There isn't a place on this earth that is not your father's own that you cannot go in and possess. Not only is the earth the Lord, the fullness thereof. That means everything in the earth belongs to your father. And if it belongs to Jesus, he said he's made us heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't care that the world economies are crumbling. We are the sick of God. We are going to prosper. Hallelujah. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. 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 H
Hallelujah. I want to let you know as you pray and cover yourself. Amen. I want you to repent because you have to know that our God is a keeper. He that dwelleth in the secret place Amen. of the Most High God. Come on, you can shout yes. it to praise if you want to. Amen. Shout a Bible in the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, I'm going to watch Amen. the mask. The Lord. Hallelujah. My face mask. But I'm going to trust in the Lord to keep me safe and my family from Corona. You can too. This is the time we're going to have to trust the Lord like we do. This is the time the world is looking at the world. They are supernatural God. They are struggling with prayer. They are looking for people who are going to say, our God is able to keep us. We are a part of the holiest kingdom. Our king is Jesus. He is Lord. He has laws that govern his kingdom. If you abide by his laws, you will prosper. You will be safe. You will be protected. You will increase. Watch this. Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. Uh, I want to talk about what we talked about today. Changing the eternal laws. We have to look at our hearts and our minds. We have to repent. We have to change the way we see the Lord in this hour. We have to know that oh, we man, have the lives of the yes, people yes, that yes. Shall be strong and shall do great and mighty exploits. It has nothing to do with Corona. It has nothing to do with the world economies crumbling. If he has to find money and gold out of a fish mouth, I'm telling you, Jesus will tell us where to go to throw our lives over to catch a fish and root will come out of his mouth. Praise God. Dollars will come out of his mouth. Rand will come out of the mouth of the fish and it will pay our bills. Hallelujah. Quads will come out. Hallelujah. And it will pay.
You bring life to the world, Jana. You bring life to the world. Amen. You bring life, Daniel. You bring life. Praise the Lord. Yes, life. yes. He make us alive. Life to the world. Amen. Put that camera on. Let me see your face. You bring light. Hallelujah. I know others have to go. Praise God. You and I and the rest of the leaders will be back. You bring light to the world. You bring hope. You bring salvation. You bring deliverance. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The blood and the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. You cannot be hidden in this hour. You cannot hide. You cannot go quiet. Hallelujah. I challenge every one of you. Yes, yes, yes. Very true. Every day. Online, on the phone, in your community, you are the light. The world is in darkness right now. The darkness of disease, the darkness of death, the darkness of confusion, the darkness of sin, the darkness of hell, the grave, the darkness has mm -hmm. overran the earth. And you need to be the light for your nation. Do not let Amen. the darkness of death religion. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Dead religion, keep people bound. You are the light. What is light? You are the revelation of Jesus Christ. You have the yeah. revelation of Christ in you that will bring light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And with you and I, Hallelujah. we become the light of the world because we are yeah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. He lights us up and he lights up the world through us. Hallelujah. I want to let Hallelujah. you know. God is yes, a amen. Said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and amen. a lamp unto my path. His word is light. His yes, word yes, is yes. like a flash light. It's like a floodlight. It brings light to a dark and dying world. I want to let you know we are the light. Say, I'm the light. I'm the light. I'm, I'm the light. Molly. I'm the light. I'm the light. God make me light. I am the light. God make me light. God make me his light. But the light of Jesus Christ is in you. I'm not talking about the light in the temple. You are the light of the world. Amen. Amen. I must say the light in me calls to the light in you. And I just say, oh my God, I repent. That is not what it's talking about. Hallelujah. That is from Hinduism. That is a saying that means that my light bows to the light in you. Hallelujah. But I want to let you know that the light of Jesus in you, hallelujah, shines bright just like the light in me. And when we greet each other, it's the light of Christ that we are celebrating. Ooh. Our own light. We have no light of our own. Our light comes from Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Verse 15. Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. Let your light so shine before men. Hallelujah. This is not the time to say, oh, I'm not going to share the gospel. I'm too busy. I'm too occupied. Change your mindset. Oh, I need to find money. I need to find food. I need to find a way to survive. No, this is not the time to do that. This is the time to say, praise the name of Jesus, that I am the light and I need to shine more than ever before. Jesus here is speaking. This is not Hallelujah, a question. Jesus is not asking you to do this. Jesus is commanding you and I. He said, let your light so shine before men. Jesus is not begging you to do it. If you feel Jesus is going to give you some supernatural big uh, ministry on a camera to speak to the world, not yet. He wants you right where you are to shine that light. I'm Amen. telling you, we're, we're so close to the coming of the Lord. We don't have uh, hope. We don't have five years and ten years to do what He's called us to do. 
everything God wants me to do, I'm doing it now. Say now. Amen. Now. Somebody shout now. 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 Repent. Now. 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 The kingdom of God is at hand means the kingdom Man. of God is now. The kingdom of God is now, right now. We have to take yeah, it man. now. I'm it telling you, to. I had to repent. What did I have to repent of, Pastor? I had to repent about five year, 10 year, and 20 year plans. I'm telling you, the coming of the Lord and the world is changing so rapidly. I have to change all of my plans, leaders. You can be leaders, you leaders from around the world. Hallelujah. Partners and friends that are watching. You don't have five years to do what God told you to do. You have now. You don't have 10 year plans, the plans, a thousand churches. You have now. You don't have next year to tell that family member who they are to come to Jesus. You have now. Those people you see in your community, you might see them today. They could be dead and gone tomorrow. We have now. Now is the day of salvation. Now Amen. is the day yes. of salvation. I want to yes. challenge all of you all. Rise up in the strength of now. Now is the day of the salvation. Yes. You do that ministry now. You plant those churches now. You have that Amen. meeting with those people now. Don't wait Amen. for anything. The kingdom of God wait on your uh, request being filled. You know how I got into the things God called me to do? I begin to step in the faith now. Praise God. I begin to Amen. take the thing and travel to nations now. And I, then when I stepped on in faith, then I saw the Lord. You know when I committed to reach the world for Jesus, I stepped out on faith and then all of you came and we connected. I don't even know how Lord. But when you step out in faith, and you said, now, now I want you now. Right. Now is yes, amen. All of a sudden, the money comes. All of a sudden, the partners come. All of a sudden, the Nine. people, you and I, who oh. can now open the door, the doors open up, but we begin to connect, and we don't know how and why. It's because Jesus yes. saw it in your heart. Yeah. Now, now, Lord, now is the king time of the Rajasthan. Now I want Delhi. Lord, now is the time of. Now I want Johannesburg. Now I want Punjab. Now I want Karachi. Now I want that. Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want Hallelujah. New York City. Now I want it. And when you have a now, come. Something powerful happens. And the Lord does. Let me give you a secret. He works for the now. Not what you see, you walk by faith and not by sight. Do not look at what you see. Do not look at the truth. Let us rise. Amen, amen, amen. People who are let, being let go. Oh, now is the time of the kingdom. Do not look at the truth. Amen. Yes, true. We look from an external kingdom. We seek a kingdom yes. that is a father. Amen, amen. A kingdom. Kingdom. How do I know? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5. Let's go to Psalm 148. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Actually, let's go to Psalm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Chapter 145. Yes. What is about this kingdom? What Kingdom are we a part of? That's why we can preach so strongly because we talk about an unshakable kingdom. How do I know? Psalm 145. I one. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever. I let you know something. The King, the Lord that we serve, is a King. Jesus is not a president. Praise God. He's not He's elected and honored. He's not a prime minister. Jesus is not a governor. He is not a mayor. Hallelujah. Jesus is Hallelujah. a king. Somebody yes, says, oh, yes. Jesus is king. Amen. Somebody shout, Jesus is king. Jesus is the king. Amen. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. 
Jesus is king. Amen. Jesus is king. Okay. I want to let you know that that makes a big difference. Jesus is a king. He has Jesus. a kingdom. It means there is Amen. a king Jesus. He can never Amen. be voted out. He can never be kicked out of being a leader. His kingdom is still enduring. His kingdom has surpassed every known earthly government. He is Lord. He is sovereign. Jesus has seen crisis after crisis. He's seen the earth rise and fall, but his kingdom still stands. Praise God. Repent. Our minds. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Psalm 129. Every day will I bless thee. I want to let you know in a time of crisis, in a time of good times, bad times, the real people of the kingdom of God worship Jesus every day. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Say, I'm a worshiper. Amen. 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 I'm a worshiper. Say, I'm a worshiper. I'm, I'm a, a worshiper. worshiper. I will worship the Lord every day. I am a worshiper. I will worship every, every day. day. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. You know what? You know what is going to get this world saved when they see a people who are worshiping I like to God, talk about the king of Worshiping a God when their when their gods have fallen. When the Hindu gods have fallen, when the Islamic gods have fallen, when the Satanist gods have fallen, when the Amen. New Age cults have fallen, because they're dying, Amen. getting sick, and losing their jobs, and losing their companies. But they see that we are worshiping our God in the midst of a crisis. They want, they're going to want to know about our God. Praise God. They're going to want to know about our Jesus. Because they're going to see us worshiping a Jesus every day. And it doesn't matter what is happening in our life. We are serving a Jesus. Amen. Watch this. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. I want to challenge you to repent. Change your mind. Our God is greater than what we even imagine. Our God is great. He is greatly to be praised. He is unsearchable. There is no other God like our Lord Jesus Christ. And we have to let the world know we serve a God that is great. So hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not waiting for President Trump to, to provide some visa. अरे लाइट के सामने खड़ा मोबाइल रखो ना हाँ हाँ हाँ. Waiting for Prime Minister Modi to pass some laws to help get food, stimulus packages to the people. We serve the living God. We're not waiting for, uh, uh, you know, whoever it is, Boris, uh, uh, Prime Minister Boris, to make provision for us. We trust in the living God. He's great. Psalm chapter 25, verse 10. I'm going to close up in a few minutes. All thy works shall praise thee. And thy saints shall bless thee. If you are a kingdom saint, you are the praising. If you are, a, I'm telling you, are you a kingdom saint? If you are a kingdom saint, you are the praising. Every day you will praise, praise the Lord. Psalm 145, verse 11. Amen, amen, They amen. shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power. While people are crying, while people are complaining, you and I, according to the book of Psalm 145, 11, are to be talking about the glory of the kingdom of God. Well, Kilafo, some of you might ask, why are you always talking about the kingdom? The Bible said, 1 Psalm 145, David wrote, if you are a saint, you're supposed to talk about the glory of the kingdom of God. What is the glory? The word glory in the Hebrew is kavod. It means the weight, the beauty, the majesty, the goodness, the love, the power, the magnificence of the king. His name is Jesus. You're to talk about the glory of the righteousness of the kingdom of God. 
There's righteousness, there is peace, and there is joy in the Holy Ghost. This is the kingdom. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. That He cares about us. Of a kingdom true, that is never broken, that will never end. Hallelujah. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of the power. And the word power in the New Testament is dunamis. You know about the dunamis power. You know about the exousia power. You know about the creative power of God. I want to challenge some of you today to repent, to change the mm. the power of God, the power to heal, the power to save, the power to deliver. Man. Yes. We can talk about the power of Jesus to heal us. The highest stripes. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Sure, and sure. Viral, and people around the world start to get healed from yeah. Corona or from whatever disease, if God starts to heal people through this word, I'm telling you, the Amen. word is going to spread. But we need to tell the word and not be afraid that our Jesus has the power to everything. Amen. He has the power Amen. to create. In other words, the power is the creative ability of Jesus. The creative ability of Jehovah. That means he could create Amen. new economies that means where there were no jobs, he will create new jobs. It means oh, where man. there were no business, he yes, yes. will create new business. Opportunities. It means if they try to persecute, we have the power from heaven. All the angels of God, they will come and fight for us. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I go, I call no, yes. Whenever I travel, Traveling on planes around the world, trains, buses, or even at home, I call on the power of heaven and the angels of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. In my family, I call. The amen, angels. amen, hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord! Hallelujah! Glory, 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 of all of you are yes amen i want you to call upon the angels that are being assigned to you to go and fight go and protect your home and family send the angels around your home and your children thank you jesus send the angels when you go to right amen Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Go and say, angels, go before me. And I'm telling you, bigger and badder than any soldier. They are bigger than any army man. They are bigger than any M16 rifle that any one, any soldier can have. Because they're the angels of the Lord. And they have fiery swords ready to fight on the behalf of the saints. Amen. 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 We shall have a sick tomorrow. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord be Thank you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 To make known to the sons of man his mighty acts. Most <clears> the <throat> saints of God, you and I, not only Apostle Peter and Paul and Jesus. Matthew, but in 2020, we are the apostles 
who Jesus wants to use to shake up the world, just like Paul did, just like Peter did. Change your mindset. Do not see Paul and Peter different from you. You are the same apostles. You are the same generation. You have, hallelujah. In fact, we are in a better position because we are the apostles, the prophets, the apostles, the bishops. The people of God are the world to reach in the end of the world. We are the ones that are the end of the world. We are the ones that are the end of the world. For Apostle Paul has done his work, he's gone. Apostle Peter has done his work, he's gone. Apostle Matthew has done his work, they're gone. Hallelujah. John has done his work. It's now time for you and I to do our work. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, yes. I'm not the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes. Jesus has departed the earth and he's mm. left his power on all of you and I. We must finish the Amen. work. We must finish it for him. We must finish Amen. it with yes. him. We have to finish yes. it by him. Praise the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. And we have the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead. It thinks you have the same healing power as Jesus did when he was in the earth. Amen, so amen. Power to speak to your mountain. And come on, I shake it. The same power to preach the gospel of the kingdom and see people's lives saved and transformed and delivered. You have the same power to raise the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Huh? I want to let you know. Hallelujah. I want to let you know. You and I are responsible for talking about the glorious majesty of the kingdom of God. Now, notice you didn't say you want to go out and talk about faith. You must talk about love. You must talk about getting a blessing. You must go out and talk about getting a house and a car. And you're going to get something special from God. No, 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 no. The true saints, according to Psalm 145, read. In verse 12, it said to make known to the sons of man the mighty acts. When last have you told the world about the mighty acts of Jesus? Mm. When last did you tell them how the world, that he healed your body, that he made a way out of no way, that he feeds you, that he clothes you, that he keeps mm. you from death and sickness and disease? When last did you tell the world about the mighty acts of the church of Jesus Christ, how powerful and glorious it is, glorious it is, how he's provided for you and I? That's what you and I as saints should do it. Telling the world about the glorious, glorious majesty of being a part of the kingdom of God. I want to mm. let you know, I tell the world, everyone that's listening and watching, I, hey, it's a glorious thing to be a part of the kingdom. I'm telling you, I have the greatest peace more than anything in my life. I have the greatest strength. I have more blessing in my life financially, family, relationally, than I've ever had in my life. I'm telling you, this thing that works, being a part and serving Jesus Christ works. I'm telling you, I'm not tormented by fear. I'm not defeated by religion. I'm not broken by disease. I'm telling you, this kingdom works. Praise God. This is what you want to tell the world. Come on, shout hallelujah. You want to tell the world. You want to tell You want to tell the world about this word. I'm bringing this home right now. Watch verse 13. Psalm 125, verse 13. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. I want to let you know God it will never end. It began. At the beginning, it's existing now, and it will exist in the future. I always tell people, if you don't teach the kingdom, guess what's going to happen? If you get the hair, but you're going to have to come to my class, because I'm going to have to teach you the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Learn the kingdom of God now and preach it now, so in hell, you're going to go to my class, my kingdom 101 class. Praise God. Why? Because the kingdom of Jesus Christ will exist forever. What it will never end. 
it will never be destroyed. It will Amen. never be crushed. If Amen. this whole world crumbles right today, Jesus' kingdom and his lordship and his angels and his power and his might and his blood and the saints who serve it will exist for eternity. Praise be the name of Jesus. We are part of the greatest thing in all of the world. There is no country greater than the kingdom of God. There is no nation greater than the kingdom of God. And we are black and we are Indian and we are mixed and we are all types of race and colors and that background. That's what they call us. But I'm none of them. I'm a kingdom man. I'm an ambassador of Christ. You're not an yes, Indian. Yes. You're a kingdom man. You're not yes. a, 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 a South Indian man. You are a kingdom man. You are yes. a very, very man. You're an ambassador of Christ. You're not a black woman. You're not poor. You're not broken. You are the son of Jesus Christ. You are an ambassador. You are a kingdom citizen. You are a royal priesthood. You and I are a nation. We have the earth that belongs to our father. Therefore, it belongs to us. In yes, the name of Jesus. Amen. So Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14 says, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. What is that gospel of the kingdom? What I just told you. Jesus is king. Accept him today. Jesus is Lord. Accept him today. Jesus is the only one that can protect you. Accept him today. Why? Because Amen. he made you and I, and he loves you and I, and he wants to do a great work in your life. I want to let you know this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. I want to let you know, repent. Do not wait for the tele evangelists. Do not wait for those who are on the big television. You are the ones that God has called that can save the world through the blood of Jesus and the preaching of the cross. Do not look at the big churches. You are the one that God will use. Do not Amen. look are those who have a, the big stained glass building. You are the one. You are me. You are on the road preaching the gospel. You who are on the streets, door to door. You who are calling up friends and family. You who are part of the Lord of Savior nation every day. You that are part of Tammy as we pray together and we touch nations. Some of the nations that are not on here. We've been speaking of, hallelujah, the last few weeks, almost 20 different nations, Ethiopia, Chad, Togo, Congo, hallelujah, hallelujah, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, new nations, Kenya, hallelujah, coming in London, I've been speaking to the people in London, England, praying, Australia, praying with those down there, they're partnering with Kingdom Apostolic, we'll see you soon. Of 
We don't give up because we trust in him because we know we have an inheritance in this life. And whatever we go through in Jesus' name, he has a great reward for us. And whatever is going on in our lives, if we don't get the reward here, we're going to get it in eternity. We're going to rule and reign with Jesus Christ if we accept him today. So, can we leave it with my clothes? Can we partners and friends? You who are working in the vineyard, you that who are working in the mission field, in your lives, I want to salute you. I want to pray for every one of you. Amen. I want to thank you. It doesn't matter how big or small the ministry is. We love you. We thank God for you. You are special Amen. to the Lord Jesus Christ. We Amen. thank you for your service. I, I can thank, thank you, man of God, for standing with us. Pay in the future, but I stand with Jesus Christ because I know I this gospel of Jesus is preaching all the world, and I'm committed to preaching the gospel. Shalewa and I, and Kevin Board and his leaders and partners, will do everything it takes to get this gospel of the kingdom around the world. Whatever technology we're going to pay for, whoever's on the ground as missionaries, we're going to support you. We're going to pray with you. We're going to work with you. We're going to support you. That will never stop as long as the Lord gives us health and strength. But I command, I commission you as Jesus commissioned all of us. Go into the world. Go into every nation preaching and teaching the gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Compelling Amen. men, boys and girls to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. To turn from their wicked yes. change their old thinking and have a new thought process. That's true yes. the word of God. And I want to let you know it. Great shall be your reward. Great shall be Amen. your reward. Amen. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Our Lord is watching everything you and I are doing. And he's going to pay you for all of your rewards. Jana. Ramesh, I want you to pray and close this out in your native Hindi. I want to hear Hindi. I want to hear Punjabi. I want to hear Tagala. I want to hear Malayalam. Each one of you pray. And then uh, uh, South Africa, let me hear Zulu. Uh, uh, and let me hear <laughs> close out in prayer one minute. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pray in English. Let me start off and then you pray. I thank you all who stayed. I know it's late. We've been on here long trying to get this technology. But this is what we have called to. This is the finest hour. So, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will start with you. I speak apostolic power. I speak the power of the kingdom of Jesus Christ to be upon everyone listening and watching, that you will be filled with the Holy Spirit, that you will be filled with the glory of God, that you will go forth to preach the gospel, to love the Lord like never before, to trust him to change your mind and to know that he is great and powerful and mighty. The blessing of the Lord upon you. The blessing that keeps Shalewa and our family and I and our ministry in spite of crisis, I speak it upon you. I speak goodness upon you. I speak provision. Some of you believe in God for supernatural money. I want to touch and agree that the money and the resources of the Lord is going to flow upon your life. I, I declare as a prophet of Jesus Christ, you shall have no lack I declare you shall learn about die and declare the works of God. I declare you will have favor and grace and strength, and you and I will be all strong. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Two minutes and we're going to close out. Amen. to pray. Amen, amen. Ramesh, pray for one minute in your language. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, our, gra our gracious yeah, Father yeah. in heaven, yeah. 
सारे संसार में आपने बचा के रखा उसके लिए आपको धन्यवाद देते हैं और बहुत सारी आत्मा इस टीम के द्वारा और इस गवाही के द्वारा बचाए जा रहे हैं उसके लिए भी आपको धन्यवाद देते हैं प्रभु जी राजा हम आपकी महिमा करते हैं आप आदर देते हैं प्रभु जी पिता परमेश्वर जितने हमारी टीम के लोग हैं प्रभु जी हर एक को प्रभु तेरे तेरे लहू में डूबो के साफ करते हैं और उस तेरे सुरदों का पैरा लगाते हैं जहां जहां ये जाए प्रभु जी वहां वहां परमेश्वर युवा उनके साथ साथ चलिए उनकी सहायता मदद कीजिए प्रभु जी हम सब पूरी टीम को प्रभु जी एक बार फिर से हम तेरे हाथ में देते हैं और इनकी जो भी समस्या परेशानी जरूरत है प्रभु जी इस लॉकडाउन में प्रभु जी हर एक को तेरे हाथ में देते हैं हम सबकी प्रार्थना सुनने के लिए कबूल करने के लिए आपको धन्यवाद देते हैं दो प्रभु ईश्वर से हम आपके नाम से मांगते हैं सुना कबूल कर आमीन God, Father, thank you for a wonderful time that has given us, and I pray for the posture. All Pita Parameshwar, we pray to you. All of us, our heart, 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 our ഞങ്ങളെ സ്നേഹിക്കുന്ന നല്ല സ്വർഗസ്ഥ പിതാവേ നല്ല പ്രാർത്ഥനാ സമയത്തിനായി സ്തോത്രം നല്ല മെസ്സേജിനായി സ്തോത്രം കെലഫൽ കൂടി ഈ ഇടപെട്ടല്ല കർത്താവ് ഈ ലോകത്തിന്റെ വെളിച്ചമാവുന്ന ഞങ്ങൾ സംസാരിച്ചല്ലോ കടദാസനെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ ദൈവ കുറവ് ധാരാളമായി ഉറങ്ങട്ടെ കർത്താവ് ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ശക്തി ശക്തിയോടെ വ്യാപരിക്കട്ടെ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ അഭിഷേകത്താല് എല്ലാവരും നിറയ്ക്കുമാറാകണം വർദ്ധിക്കുകയാണ് മിഷനെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണമേ കാമി മനുഷ്യരെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കുമാറാകണമേ ദൈവകരങ്ങൾ ഏൽപ്പിക്കുകയാണ് പ്രാർത്ഥന ഘടനിക്കാൻ സ്തോത്രം യേശുവിന്റെ നാമത്തില് അമേൻ 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 hello blessings thank you all so much for tuning into this meeting I know that you have uh, been on here for quite some time but this has been such a wonderful fellowship and I am so happy that moving forward this is something that we are going to uh keep up it is so encouraging uh today seeing all of you and uh, some of you I haven't seen your faces uh in such a very long time and um most of the time and every time when i see most of your faces we're always smiling and greeting each other in such a lovely way in the lord so this has been that alone today was a was a i am so encouraged in the lord i am so encouraged in the kingdom it is wonderful to have all of you here as uh uh co-workers uh praying for each other encouraging each other we just thank you so much for your love and kindest regards now for all of you who are watching uh via facebook youtube and from all over the world i want to say thank you for tuning in we trust that this message uh today was a blessing and an encouragement uh to you we want you to see that us as kemi we stand as an army um not uh, as an individual but we stand as an army as brothers and sisters in the kingdom of god uh there we have no need to exalt ourselves in any way the only thing that we do is lift up the name of christ and exalt each other and we learn and grow from each other and so we trust that our combined efforts has allowed you to grow and is continuing to allow you to grow as you watch our broadcast 
uh, those that we would have had and those that are to come. So God bless you and join us again. We want to encourage you to continue to pray for us. You may not know each and every one of us by name, but um, just continue lifting up Cami, continue lifting up Cami Global and continue lifting up the body of Christ all together. God bless you again and thank you for joining and God bless all of you apostles uh, and all of you in your respective places. God bless all of you women of God who stand so daily uh, with uh, the apostles and um, other fivefold members. God bless all of you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for reaching out. And we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This, this day uh, was a little uh, challenging because we started a little later than normal. But praise God, I found out how to stream live and make it happen. So you're going to hear from us. Hallelujah. Some people are still coming on, but uh, you're going to hear from us. We were, we're going to do this again, but we're going to take it by nation. So when is the good time to do this again? Is Wednesday a good day or Tuesday? Yes, get ready for a Cami World Tour. Tuesday. We want to do a world tour, and we're going to go around the world in every country where Cami is on Zoom. So we want to start that maybe on is Wednesday good? Okay, true, true. It's a good, it's good. Okay, put all of your suggestions on Cami Global WhatsApp page and uh, we will co coordinate it and make it happen. I love you. We have to go. I know you, many of you have been on a long time. Give your families a love. Give Jesus a half clap of praise. I want to give a shout out for my new book. We'll talk more to you one-on-one -on -one. this week. I'll call some of you one-on-one -on -one this week. I see Sukumar. God bless you. This God way, bless you. Sukumar, God bless you. Uh, uh, we have to go. We'll be back on live this week in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless Amen. you. God bless. Amen. 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 Thank you very much for all.